this is Chris. Today I'm going to be working on a E30 blend for my uh, F30 BMW. So essentially what is going to happen is I'm going to take E85 ethanol with a mixture of premium 93, uh, do a conversion which I'll show you guys how that's done and come up with an E30 blend. Um, benefits of ethanol is it runs cooler, uh, better for pre-ignition, no hot spots or you know less likely for hot spots. Um, it's obviously a renewable resource. So uh, today we're going to show you guys some draggy results. Uh, if you're not familiar with draggy, it's a GPS unit that is very accurate on you know 0 to 30, 0 to 60, uh, eighth mile, quarter mile. So I have a before and after. So on the first pool here on uh, this draggy, it's me and my brother, he's filming, I'm driving. Um, he is about 230 pound uh, heavyweight MMA fighter and um, it does kind of skew the result a little bit. I think it could have been just maybe a, a tenth of a second faster, maybe without two people in the car, but at least it's pretty accurate. You see what the numbers are for, um, you know, for the most part on just a regular uh, stage two tune with full bolt-ons. So I'm going to test my um, ethanol level for um, to see how much ethanol is actually in my um, E85 and that's going to give us our calculation for um, the E30 blend. So I'm going to start by pouring some of my ethanol into a cup and then putting it in a tester with the, with the water. Yeah, this, is, this is from my local um, BP where they actually have ethanol. 85. Alright, so I've got my my ethanol here. We'll grab some water. And here's my water. I got my kit here. I bought it from Amazon. Um, it's uh, it's a pretty good boost monkeys test here. Alright. water and ethanol. All right, here's what we're doing. Let's get this cap off, which is kind of hard. All right, here's what we got. So we got our, our tube, and it says to fill the water to this blue line where it says H2O, and then you uh, fill the, from, from the water line all the way up to the red line with ethanol. And after we do that, we just give it a shake and we wait a few minutes. So let's start with our water. So we're gonna fill it to the blue line. All right. Let's get that water to the blue line. It's gonna take a few of these syringes, obviously. It's gonna go a little slower than you think. The bubble's busting. All right, so right there, guys, I'm looking right at the line. So we're at the red line. Now we can close this up, shake it up a little. So you see where these, the bubble line is, right at 85? Um, we're gonna call that exactly E85. So you really gotta shake it up really, really good and then let it kind of settle. And you see that it landed right above, a line above 85, actually it's right at 85. If you look right now, that's where it ended up. All right guys, so we have exactly E85, which you saw the separation, it bubbled, it went right to E85. So that's a great thing. And to be honest with you, I already knew that because I have a friend from uh, Forward Performance, which is a great um, little tuning shop in Indian Trail, uh, Matthew's Indian Trail area. He told me that this pump was exactly E85. Um, he tests it because he uses it. 
All right, guys, uh, welcome to my home office. I'm going to show you this actually on the screen as I do it. So um, we're going to record a screen here. So what we have here is going to be our ethanol calculator. And this is from a person, it's a tuner. Um, and I hope I'm saying his name right, is uh, Nishan or Nishan. Um, he made this uh, ethanol calculator. So what you're doing is you're plugging in your um, your values as you know what you know about your values um, the first one is going to be ethanol content um, and that's 91 or 93 we have 93 and it says don't change because um, unless you know your pump gas doesn't have any ethanol in it leave it as is 10% is what we have here we know we have 85 in our our tester kit showed 85 so we got E85 exactly 85% our fuel uh, capacity in my vehicle for a 2014 335 is 15.8 gallons. So we're gonna leave that as, um, we're gonna put that as our, our, our um, next factor here, 15.8 uh, gallons. And then you put down, for example, let's say five. Uh, if five gallons of ethanol, E85, um, you're, gonna re you're gonna make 33% so E30, um, at 4.5, you're gonna make 31. So we're looking for about 4.3 is what I came up with, and that makes 30.4. You could be plus minus a little bit. All right, so when you go for your uh, fill-ups in, in the future, you have a calculator here for uh, subsequent fill-ups. So for example, if you're gonna put in, let's say I go, I'm on a quarter tank, and I'm gonna put in, um, and you can you know, have this on your phone or however you wanna do it. I'm gonna put, let's say two gallons of E85 to right now, because we don't know how much gas is in there exactly. And then um, I'm gonna do, let's say, so then you put in those factors, you put, ten, you have your 10% from the regular gasoline, that's just a common factor. You're gonna do 85, because you know it's E85, we tested it, that's what it is. Then you want to put the desired con uh, the desired mixture, 30%. And then you want to put in how many gallons of E85 you're going to put in. Let's say you don't know exactly what you have left and you have a quarter tank. So I say I'm going to put, because I don't know exactly, I took 4.3, I'm going to do three gallons of E85. Well, then it calculates for you that you're going to need 8.25 gallons of regular fuel, 93 premium octane, to make 11.25 gallons. So at that point, you know, well, I'm, you know, I don't know exactly what I have, but now I know the mixture is gonna be correct. So I'm gonna, that means I know exactly three gallons of ethanol and exactly 8.25 gallons of, of uh, 93 octane is gonna give me 11 gallons. So right here, I'm gonna use the, about 4.3, 4.4 gallons of the E85 ethanol that I got from my local uh, BP that has ethanol. So I'm gonna fill this up first and then I'm going to top off with uh, 93 octane pump gas. Hey guys, so we're at the gas station. I just did the ethanol and topped off with 93. Uh, connecting to the boot mode and we're going to turn off the car, get everything ready for a flash. I'm doing it here on site and connect it to my phone. Uh, just due to the fact that we have ethanol in the engine, I want to make sure that we're not uh, causing any, any damage. Turn on accessory only, turn off everything. Radio, AC's off, seat belt is on. As, as you know, you have to have that going. Uh, we're going to do a flash here. Uh, battery charger you can have on. We're at a gas station. Seat belt's on. Don't open and close anything. Go ahead and do your flash. We're going to do a stage 2 E30. Um, we are not doing the aggressive right now, but maybe later I'll try the aggressive tune and see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna stay on the safe side right now. It's on 99%. Okay, so we got a successful tune. Um, we're gonna hit OK. Gonna give it about 15 seconds before I start it up. So let's see what we got here. Make sure we don't have any lights come on. Okay, all the lights are off, and we're gonna head out. All right, guys, so uh, wiping everything down from, of course, uh, COVID, trying not to get uh, sick here. 
And uh, one thing I will say, guys, is that um, if you just retune from for E30, um, I would recommend that you do not, uh, as of right now, you do not just kind of step on it. Um, give your car a second to get that fuel pulled through the lines. So here is my final draggy pool. I did two pools and this is the best of the two. Um, I only had time for two pools, but it's just me in the car. So the recording's a little funky. It's a little sideways there. I should have held the phone uh, horizontally, but um, I'm getting pretty good results. Uh, mind you, I, it's just me. I don't have my brother, but even with that, I'm getting really good results out of it. I mean, it is a, a, with an E30 tune which is a little bit more aggressive. And I went with the, the less aggressive E30 tune. There is one more that goes actually more aggressive. So we'll, we'll look at those numbers at another time. guys for watching I'll put a link below to the ethanol tester the race can for a VP racing um, helps you measure out your fuel a little better and then I'll also put a link down for the conversion chart from Nishan um, who's a tuner and I appreciate him for letting me use that conversion chart on this video so thanks guys for watching I appreciate your support I do have some things coming up in the future Right now the economy is not great. I run a small business, so I'm not going to spend as much. Um, however, I do have some videos coming in the pipeline just um, ready to, to, to produce. I will be planning on doing a e full E85 conversion soon with port injection, um, upgraded fuel system, and then eventually go into a fully built bottom end with a EFR Borg Turbo. Um, you know, the plan is to hit 650 uh, plus horsepower to the wheels. Plan on just getting a, a motor, putting it on the stand, start building it as I, I, as I have a running car and not have to, you know, have my car out of commission while that's going on. So I'll probably buy some motor that's been blown. And if you know anybody that has one, let me know in the comments down below. But if you guys do have any questions, please comment down below. I'll try to answer them best I can with what I know. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe. See you on the next video.